It's the 1977 World Series between the Dodgers and the Yankees. The World Series Reggie won. In the fourth inning, the Yankees' Reggie Jackson hits a home run against the Dodgers' Burt Hooten. It's his first home run of the game. He would do it again the very next inning. He hit two home runs on two pitches. Jackson electrified New York. His next time up in the eighth inning, the very first pitch off of Charlie Huff. Jackson hits it into the center field bleachers. Three pitches, three home runs. The Yankees win the World Series in six games. The memory is always one that's extremely special. Um, I think at that time I was uh, made a member of the city or the family of, of the city of New York, if you will. Um, always feel as though this is a second home or probably a first, first home for me. You know, I'll, I'll never forget it. Uh, I think as time goes on, it becomes even more special. Uh, it'd probably be somewhere between 50 and 65 home runs. And if you catch it lucky streak, uh, you may run up almost uh, maybe to 70. But I would not s compare myself to uh, the greatest of home run hitters like McGuire and, and, and Bonds as far as hitting 70 or 73 home runs. But I believe I would have hit in the 60s. I think we all need pats on the back. We all need our ego boosted from time to time. And I guess every October I have my turn. Um, you know, having roots in New York, uh, being recognized in, in different parts of the country, and, and have people just walk up to you in California or Arizona or Montana or wherever and have them say uh, thanks for the memories uh, is a special feeling. It's been 25 years since Reggie Jackson entered the baseball record books with three home runs on three pitches in one World Series game. On Wednesday, Major League Baseball and MasterCard will name Reggie's performance one of baseball's most memorable moments. It was the series where he became Mr. October.